Muslim is an Arabic word that literally means one who submits. People who follow the religion of Islam are called Muslims. A Muslim is one who believes and declares that there is no God except one God and Prophet Muhammad is the last and final messenger of God. More than 50 countries have Muslim majority population while many other countries have minority Muslim community, including Tibetan Muslim. The Tibetan Muslims, also known as Khaji, from a small minority in Tibet. The word is derived from Khaji Yu, which is Tibetan for Kashmir. They are also known as Lhasa Khazi. As time went by, these migrants intermarried with the Tibetans. The wives who were Tibetan Buddhists by birth embraced Islam and thus was born the Tibetan Muslim community. Slowly, a large community of Tibetan Muslims grew around Lhasa. The main regions from where these Muslims trace ancestry are Kashmir and Ladakh. Being the president of the Tibetan Muslims in Darjeeling in Kalimpong, I would like to give you some information about Tibetan Muslims and their origin. Most important, the Tibetan Muslims originally are from Ladakh and Kashmir. And uh, people who went to Tibet from Ladakh and Kashmir region were all traders and they have been uh, trading since for many, many years. And since they have been trading so many, for so many years, they later on got settled in Tibet itself by marrying Tibetan women. Tibetan women who are Buddhist. But uh, since they got married, Tibetan Buddhist women, they accepted Islam as their husband's religion. So for their generation, this whole Tibetan Muslim generation is coming from those times. This is the matter of, I think, about 400 to 500 years history. So they have been living very amicably and all the successive Dalai Lamas, they have been very kind and very generous in dealing with Tibetan Muslim affairs. So after that, Tibetan Muslims also felt the pinch. And they have been very, you see, they felt that uh, the religion is not the freedom, religious freedom is not there. They can't pray properly, they can't uh, go to their mosques uh, regularly. So they all got, uh, you know, sort of, since being Tibetan Muslims, they are very devout Muslims. See, like Tibetan Buddhists, very devout. Same like Tibetan Muslims, they are very devout Muslims. And they follow the tenets of Islam very strictly. So they felt, that Tibetan Muslims are being denied of the freedom of religion. So they all decided to bury their other, you see, problems and uh, they met the Indian Embassy, Indian High Commissioner there, who was Sri P.M. Paul, the High Commissioner there, and he suggested, since you are all being the originally Indian, Ladakhi and Kashmiri Muslims, you should uh, apply to the government of India for repatriation of Tibetan Muslims from Tibet. So, after a certain time, they got the permission of the government of India and the government of India approached the Chinese government and then, only then, the Chinese government agreed to repatriate, the government of India repatriated all the Tibetan Muslims from Tibet to India. So, the Tibetan Muslims, after coming over to India, they uh, were giving certain offers, certain settlements, like the biggest settlements in uh, Jammu and Kashmir, Srinagar, and many pockets of India. But uh, there are te many Tibetan Muslims who got themselves settled, like places like Darjeeling, Kalimpong, and Nepal. So many of them are here. So, uh, for us, like about 30 families are 30, 35 families Tibetan Muslims in Darjeeling. So they are all traders, you see. By nature, you see, they were all traders before and they follow the same pattern here in India also. 
since we are Tibetan, we can speak the Tibetan language, we follow the Tibetan culture. Huh? So we were very close to each other. Still, we are close to Tibetans. You see, we have got office very close to my place. And uh, every now and then, I've been called there to participate in certain uh, community meetings. So we participate always. After 1959, during the Chinese aggression, Quite a few Tibetan Muslims managed to escape out of Tibet into the borders of towns of Gantok, Kalingpong, and Darjeeling. My name is Ahmad Ji. I am a Tibetan Muslim. I am a dragon song. I am a ready made song. I am a soldier. 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 ดูคัชมีเนี่ยเราคัชเชสเชสหัวหน้าทุสตุกิตุกิตุเดลัยอะไรคัชมีเชสหรือว่าเอเกลัตเตสซิชูเชนยาโกเมจานดูเดชูไ
So in short, what I want to say is the Tibetan Muslims, although their faith is different from the mainstream Tibetan, there are as much Tibetans and any other Tibetans uh, and they consider His Holiness the Dalai Lama as their leader. So they also attend our functions during the celebration of the birthday of His Holiness the Dalai Lama and on 10 December when we commemorate the conferment of the Nobel Peace Prize to His Holiness the Dalai Lama, they also take part in these things. So I feel this uh, the Tibetan uh, Muslims, they would suddenly contribute for building a new, because it's just, you know, if we, the garden looks beautiful when there are different kinds of flowers, when they have got uh, different colors of flowers. So these Tibetan Muslims, you know, because of their separate identity and they, and because of their, I mean, good nature, because of their hardworking nature, they will suddenly contribute for building a new. Thank you. There is no one central figure of authority who can claim to speak on behalf of entire Muslim community. The task of speaking on Muslim issues is often left to mosque leaders, scholars, academics, community activists and Muslim advocacy groups. <laughs> Freedom of the Muslim people, the people 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 of the Muslim people, and I'm a businesswoman. Actually, I'm from Kashmir, and I've been here in Darjeeling since five years. So, like, even though in Darjeeling, we the Tibetan Muslims are like very few, very minor in group. Well, like, I personally feel in future that we might come up as a major community. So, well, at last. I just want to say that I'm proud to be a Tibetan Muslim and I am planning a better future for my daughter. Thank you so much.